This is crazy big. That's what she said. Well, hey, my name is Nick, aka Load Wombat, and we are here for the Utopia guide slash walkthrough slash thing. If you haven't watched my other guides on the other two locations in the final chapter, make sure you guys go watch those. If you are just here for this one or a particular part of it, thank you for stopping by. We're gonna jump right into this one, but make sure you guys like, subscribe, and also, if you wanna come see the live version of me, you can come over to my Twitch channel. Now that that's out of the way, let's jump right in. Okay, so first things first, you're going to arrive at Utopia. You're gonna see a whole like farmland looking type thing with a whole bunch of places you can dig. Don't get too distracted here. What you wanna do is you wanna go over to the hut. You're gonna find a note from one Dito, baby, or Dedo, or, or, or whatever. It's the kid in the storyline and it's, it's a pretty funny note, but he's gonna also hand you a map. This map is gonna show you the exact locations where you need to dig. So you're gonna dig up three notes and these three notes are gonna have a code on it. And that code is gonna help you unlock Dedo's little area. There's quite a bit of loot in there. So make sure you grab some loot. There's also a blueprint for the big backpack, which is, it doubles your inventory space. Like it is absolutely insane. I love it. Right next to the big backpack, you're gonna find the harpoon, which is uh, something you need for like one of the next parts, but we need to find another part because you're gonna need a harpoon and you're gonna need a carbon dioxide canister. So in order for us to get the carbon dioxide canister, we've got to connect this water pump to the electricity. So we head over to that platform and you're gonna see a new enemy here, which is the hyenas. They're actually absolutely insane and they're kind of cracked. Uh, they'll drag you out of there and everything like that, but you'll be able to handle them. I'm sure you're, you're quite the warrior, you know? So you take out those hyenas. You can even get a cool new hat and everything and begins the puzzle to, to get the electricity over to those pumps. So you need to find some electrical cable. So you use these boxes in order to build up to some of these different spaces. So this is a mechanic that'll be in this little piece here. You jump up, you grab the first electrical cable there. There's also another electrical cable behind this building here. And then you're gonna go across the way to this other platform, you go around the back side here, and then there will be a, a way up. And there's gonna be another electrical cable right there. You're gonna use the box to bring yourself up to the top of this area to get on the roof. You grab the cable, and then you're gonna bring it right over to like the generator thing here. You connect those two, bada bing, you've started the chain of electricity. Now you grab from the same tower again, go across the way here, grab the coin as you go across, and then you're gonna connect that one to this tower there. Then grab these boxes, go to your right, and use those to climb up to that up there. Now we need to get onto that building across the way. So we're gonna build our, our own little stairs here, jump up to the top. You've got electrical cable there. Now we're taking this electrical cable and it's gonna be, seem crazy, but we're walking it all the way back the first way we got up top, okay? So we're gonna go into the water across the way. We're gonna be going, climbing back up, going across that bridge, and then you're gonna plug it right back into the tower. And then once you've plugged into that tower, you're gonna actually go back to where uh, you just pulled that wire from, zip line across to the other building. You're gonna grab that cable, and then you're gonna connect this cable to the top of uh, the building that you uh, just came from. Now you zip line back across again, and then you grab this cable, you go bring it down to the generator, and you have just now connected the power to the water over here. And basically what you're gonna need to do with this puzzle is you're gonna need to redirect these like circles to bring the water coming in to the, the hose coming out so it can go down the line. Now with this puzzle in particular, the most important piece of it is the outer ring. You wanna make sure that you have a hose that's capturing the water coming in and there's a hose that can bring the water out to the, to the ending line. If you don't have that, obviously you can't finish it, but if you start there, everything else will kind of fall into place. I promise you guys can do it. I believe in you and uh, hopefully it goes well for you. You're not only gonna have to do this once, but you're gonna have to do this actually twice. So, uh, hey, if you're having trouble with it, it'll be fun for you. This is then going to bring um, water into this big, huge, like rectangle thing here and you will grab the carbon dioxide canister. Take this all the way up to the top of Dedo's little area, hit the harpoon, shoot the thing across and now you got a zip line to head to the next little area here. Ride the zip line, baby. Say, woo, it's so fun, yay. You're gonna get in here, loot around a little bit, and then you're gonna find the entrance key. Uh, and once you're done looting that area, come out the outside, ride down the next zip line, and then you're gonna keep going forward. And you'll see the entrance key door here. 
that's where you find out, man, I only got one entrance key and I need two. You keep walking, go to these double doors here. You're going to hear some people behind the doors, but, uh, you know, just ignore them. They're just locked away and whatever. But uh, just grab the entrance key and then grab a note. Come back to this. Open up the entrance door or whatever you want to call it. Then you're going to go up in the elevator and we're going to find our next area, baby. You're going to see uh, a little elevator here. This is actually going to be something we use a little bit later. It says requires cog wheels. We'll, we'll handle that in a little bit. Keep walking. You're going to see a lock that requires a hammer for us to, to beat the hell out of it. So we're going to bring a hammer back. But first off, you're going to have to do some parkour. So hopefully you're good at it. Once you get done with the parkour maze, you'll find the hammer. You'll smash the lock. You'll go in and you're introduced to Olaf. He's a real butthead, okay? With this maze in particular, what you're going to want to do first is go right and uh, grab this box over here. Now you're going to put the box there. Then you're going to see that this requires a cogwheel. So we want to put the cogwheel on here first. So let's grab a cogwheel. You're going to realize you can't jump or, or you can't like sprint or anything like that with it. So you kind of got to like, you know, rig it to go like this. Boom. And then we're going to need another box over here. So let's go ahead and grab another box. You're going to put that box down right there. Grab it again. Pull it up. Pull it up again. And then you're going to put it onto the platform. Now, the goal here with this particular puzzle is to get those cogwheels up to a place where we can grab them because we can't take them up a ladder. So you're going to see a little number on the platform that you need to bring it to. It's going to say two. That number is the number we need to, we need to get the weights at on the other side in order to balance out the thing and get the, the cogwheels where we need them. So let me go ahead and show you what I did. So I went up the ladder and I started with three. It brought it down to this level here. Then I put a one on. Then I took the three off from the way bottom. I go to the level, I put the two on. And then I realize all I gotta do now is take the one off. And we are solid, boom, it's ready. The cog wheel is there, okay? So now we're gonna need to take that, that cog wheel, we're gonna need to put it into this little uh, contraption here to bring the bridge down. You can actually grab that same cogwheel because it falls out, bring it into the next room. And then we see another maze just like the one we did. So we're gonna put that down there. If you look across the way, it's gonna say three. So we need to bring it up to three up top there. And this is how I did it. I did a little bit of a workaround, but it'll, it'll work, okay? So just go ahead and put a six here. It's gonna take you all the way down to the bottom. Then I'm going to put the five on there. I'm going to take the six off. Then I'm going to put the one on there. And then I'm taking the five off. It's going to bring me back up to here. I'm going to put a four on. Then I take the one off. I put a two on. Then I'm taking the four off. It's going to bring me all the way up here. I put the three on. And then I'm taking the two off. Boom. That's how you do it. Well, that's kind of one of the ways you do it. I, uh, I, I kind of did a workaround because dumb. Okay. That's just going to be honest, but I got there and that's all that matters. I just, just don't ask me to show my work. Okay. <laughs> Then we're going to grab the cog wheel. We're going to bring it down the walkway here. And there's going to be another drawbridge for us to put the cog wheel in. You put the cog wheel in there. And then after it's done coming down, you're going to grab the cog wheel again. Bring it all the way down. And then you're going to put it on that original like little like uh, elevator type thing that we had before. Go back through the, the parkour maze. Grab it. Then you're going to put it inside of the elevator here. Take the elevator up. And we're heading to our next area. At this part here, you're going to build some more stairs to get up. And then all of a sudden, Olaf's going to be all pissed off at you, okay? He's going to start throwing bombs. He's going to go crazy. You're going to be like, what the heck do I do? All you got to focus on here is building up stairs to him and not getting your ash blown off, okay? So make sure you just build stairs up to him. And uh, once I actually got to the top, I thought I could hit him, but I guess you just can't. And he just took it like a champ. But in here, you're going to find a blueprint for an electric zipline tool and the warehouse key. The warehouse key you're about to use immediately. So go on outside and go straight. There's a warehouse key there. 
when you do this, make sure you get this ladder right here because that'll be your way up if you die on a fight coming up here. Go inside, you're gonna drop down from this trap door, you're gonna see like a million hyenas and a whole bunch of boxes. Your goal is to get to the other side of the room and not die to these hyenas. You gotta build some more stairs up to that area. Now, I didn't have a bow here, so I, it was just like extremely difficult and I got so close to dying, but luckily I built, I built it just in time and I was able to get up on these boxes and go. And not to mention Olaf is throwing bombs while I'm uh, I'm doing this, so the little bastard. If you notice what I did there with the boxes, I actually just like jumped up onto one and then built one as I was jumping. And that's like a really quick way to get up. So once I'm up, I, I walk up the stairs. I barely survived, by the way. I walk up the stairs and we go into the crazy final boss fight. You jump down, Olaf is still pissed. And then guess who he sends after you? A ginormous radioactive hyena it scared the crap out of me and I was completely underprepared for this fight and so I died immediately what you need for this fight in my opinion is you might need some healing salve and you might need a bow now you might be able to get away with the bow in particular just without the healing salve but uh, I gotta tell you the machete is a pretty hard move and if you can do that then you're the real Chad all right the next one I went went through with the bow and I started focusing on some of his attacks now, if you keep shooting him, he has some of this normal attack that actually like a lot of the bears have and stuff like that. So you, can, you guys can dodge that pretty easily. Just watch out for the radioactive pools. When he gets into this mode right here, just know you're not going to be able to hit him. He is invincible during that mode. And then he starts going cracked out of his mind crazy. He'll rush you like this at times. And you are in big trouble if he rushes you like this. He starts draining your health pretty hard. And I think you might even get a little bit poisoned. Um, so that might be a good time for your healing salve. Another phase that he has is he has this rock throw like this and he's gonna throw the rock and it's gonna leave a trail of poison. If you can successfully do what I do right here and get him to shoot him at the same exact spot, you are in a really good position because he just now uh, didn't fill up the whole floor with like poison. Another phase that he has is he gets super pissed off and he starts jumping and he poops out all this uh, poison everywhere, okay? So just watch out for when he does this. You just gonna, you want to dodge it. It's a pretty easy dodge. It just can kind of catch you off guard and you get stuck in all the poison. And then if you can overcome all of those things, you should be able to kill him. And then you'll get a really, really cool uh, new hat. Basically, it's his head. And you've just defeated the final boss fight. Go on over to the elevator, press the button, go up in the elevator. And then you're going to see Olaf again. And he's going to be scared out of his mind when you go in there. So you just rush up to Olaf. He's got his hands up. He's like, please don't kill me or something like that. Uh, he'll actually fall out of the window here. So you just walk up to him. He falls out of the window. Then you can go down below. He's going to give you the master key. that you need to unlock the final door. You can try to shoot him in the face like I did. Didn't work. There is a very important blueprint out here as well. If you pick that up. It's going to give you the titanium tools. This is for absolutely rich psychotic maniacs who have a lot of titanium. If you want to learn how to get a lot of titanium, go ahead and go into one of my other videos where I talk about the best way to get titanium in wrath. And it's in the cards up above right here. So once you do that, just go back to these double doors, unlock the door and get into the final cutscene where you get to see the ending of wrath. You've done it. You made it through the final chapter or at least all the chapters you've completed raft and then you get into this really cool area here there is some vending machines here this is the only place where they sell these things you can come back here so don't worry too much but yeah so make sure you guys check everything out grab a whole bunch of food and everything hopefully this video helped you guys out and you enjoyed it uh my name has been nick aka loaded wombat if you've been with me on the journey of these different guides i really appreciate you watching this channel has been doing really well since i posted these so i'm really looking forward to posting more videos like this whether it's guides or talking through survival games or that kind of stuff um so make sure you guys like subscribe if you like that kind of stuff if there's anything else from raft any other types of videos you would like to see from me please go ahead and, and put those in the comments down below i'd be super interested in doing that love raft we will be having some more survival game content coming out very, very soon. So make sure you guys stay tuned. I appreciate you. And also, make sure you come over and say hello to the live version of me on Twitch. I'm probably live right now. And if I'm not, then you can give me a knuckle sandwich. Okay. Love ya. Bye.